Okay, now we are in chapter five. We are, chapter five is about second order differential equation, huh? second order, all right? And we have two type of second order differential equation. We have homogeneous and non-homogeneous. So if it's zero equal to zero, we are four into the first one. If it's not zero, then we fall into second one. So today we try to clear the homogeneous. Then uh, maybe tomorrow, our next class, we will look at non homogeneous. Then you get ready for your uh, midterm test. Okay. So we have done example one yesterday. Again, uh, um, we only have uh, three major steps only for to solve. Uh, uh, Second order differential equation. Okay, we only have two steps only. Ah, sorry, it's three steps. Huh? So, what are the steps? Huh? First, sorry, let me put it to the other slides. First is Nizam steps. Okay, first step, write your equation, right? Copy the equation, rearrange your equation in this form d square something plus b dy dx plus c y equals zero arrange the equation in this pattern and then write in this form okay write in something d square plus b d plus c bracket y equals zero write in this form this form we call d operator form okay this is the first step or you remember nizam huh? this is a nizam standard answer First step, you write in the operator form, you put in this one. First step. Second step, you remember Shakil. All right, second step, you write in. Second step, you remember Shakil answer for this one. You do B square minus 4AC. You find which category it goes. You have three, three family or three choices. You analyze B square minus 4AC. Where to find the B? You look at the quadratic equation. All right? You, you've got to find what is your B, what is your A, what is your C. Okay? A, C. You do calculation. Three cases. More than zero, equal zero, less than zero. Okay? You do this one. This is Shakil's second step. Third step, you remember Edmund. Uh, okay? Third step, remember Edmund. Each one of it have their own standard equation. This one don't need thing one. There's a slide for you to refer. Okay. So if you get the first one, huh? if you get the first one, more than zero. More what mean by more than zero means that you have two real answer which is different. Then you get alpha beta. You copy this one, put into your answer y equal to a something plus b e something all right then you need to solve for alpha and beta look at your answer you use the equation later i'll introduce to you to solve the quadratic roots huh? you use the minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a to solve for alpha beta or you can factor if you want if you're good in factorization or completing the square, then use that one. But I will recommend you to remember the uh, quadratic solving equation. Once you find the two different answer, you substitute your alpha and beta. Okay. Remember Edmund. Huh? Edmund is the one who choose which which equation to use. So if you have the first one, what you do is that you replace the alpha and beta. How you know which one and which one? You choose the minimum positive value put in front, negative always at the back, better. Okay. Now, when you do equation for this one, if your answer is equal zero, equal zero means same answer. Same answer, you use the second equation. Copy this one, substitute your beta. Beta means the roots. Okay. Beta means the answer. If you get less than zero, what you do, you copy this equation. This is a third equation. And you substitute your beta, alpha, beta also. Same, huh? Alpha, 
beta inside here. Okay. Then you substitute the additional information. If you're given x equal to what, y equal to what, dy dx equal to what, uh, you do that one to solve the a and b. Then you rewrite, substitute back, you get the final answer. Okay, yesterday we show you one example one already. Huh? Okay, so just read the question. Do the three step that we mentioned just now. There's a reason why the question gives you x equals something, y equals something, dy dx equal to something. This one, two, three things is to solve what is your A, what is your B. Okay, let's look at example number two. We have completed example one yesterday. Let's look at example number two. Uh. Okay, okay. Two. Now, you read the question. You are given an equation. D square something, dy dx, y equals zero. This is a homogeneous second order differential equation. Right? Copy this equation, put it into your answer. And again, you are given t equals something, y equals something, dy dx equals something. In this case, your y and dy dx, same number. Again, this one is to find the a and b in the Edmund analysis. Okay? All right, let's start. What do you do? First step, always copy the question. Copy 9 d square y divided by dt. And now this question is t, yeah? dt square minus 24 dy dt plus 16y equals 0. Now, what is the first step you think of uh, Nizam? What is the Nizam step? D. Find the D. Yes, correct. So, transfer all this into D. Uh, transfer it on to D. So, if you forget, you just go back to the slides and copy the general equation. Okay? You don't need to write this one, but you can straight away rewrite this one into the d operator form you can write d uh, e this equation equal to 9 d square minus 24 copy this one equal to d this one 16 copy bracket uh, bracket y okay this is the first step you remember nizam right nizam first step right in the d operator Okay, so, so this step gives you one to two mark. mark. Okay, okay. usually, usually minimum one mark, mark here. here. All right. Next, you think of uh, Shakil. Shakil is to find the three possible uh, uh, scenario. All right. To find the three possible scenario, you need a quadratic equation. So where to get the quadratic equation is actually the bracket things. You copy the whole bracket equals zero. Okay, because this whole equation equals zero, either the y becomes zero or the bracket things, the whole thing becomes zero, right? So to solve the equation quadratic equals zero, you know what is your a, what is your b, what is your c, right? You copy the whole uh, bracket, you write in the quadratic form just to identify what is your a, what is your b, what is your c. Now, in this case, when you write in this form, your a equal to 9, your b equal to minus 24, your c equal to 16. Now, my only worry in this class is the careless mistake only. I don't worry about your mathematics skill. My worry is your careless mistake, especially when it comes to negative sign. All right? So, uh, some of you, you tend to forget about the negative. All right? I don't know, somewhere, somehow, in the test or quiz, you like to change the negative to become positive. I don't know what happened, eh? but don't do that in the coming test of five minutes. Eh? Okay? Now, you have the A, B, and C. The next step is to calculate what is your root. What is your root? Eh? So, in this case, it's a simple factorization. Right? You can do factorization. So, you factor this one. Right? So, again, you don't know how to factor. Go to your uh, Max one textbook. Go and go and read how to factor quadratic equation. Okay. 
you get two same answer. All right, you get two same answer. Think back, uh, Shakir answer. Shakir have three possibility. All right, so this is the second second uh, situation. So once you identify second equation, you think of Edmund. So Edmund will give you three three more equation to pick. All right. So it's the same. So you use a second equation, which is this one. Okay. Y equal to bracket something. This one's standard already. You don't need to memorize this one. Standard already. Y equal to bracket A X plus B E beta X. Since we are having the yeah, we call since just now when you do factorization, you get the same answer, right? Four over four over three. So four over three, where you put you put inside the alpha and gamma. Here you only have beta. Oh, sorry, you here only have beta. So you substitute the green color answer inside here. Okay, then you get the general solution already. So this is the first stage of the answer. Okay, you get y equal to bracket e. 4 divided by 3 t. This is the general equation where you almost get full mark here. Already. Up to here, if the question is 10 marks, if you can reach here, you will score around 6 marks already up to here. Then, after you reach this stage, go back to the question. The last line will give you what is the x, what is the y, what is dy dx. In this case, because the question is dy over dt, so it changed to t equal to something, y equal to something, dy dx equal to something. And re remember, there's a reason why the question put this one in the in the question. This t y dy dx is to help you to find what is your a and b. Like you're solving simultaneous equation. Okay. Now this one, the first one, you just substitute what is t first. You substitute what is t, t equals to 0, so this one 0, this one 0. So e power 0 is 1. So from here you get, and then remember what's your y in the question, y equal to dy dx equal 3, basically y equal to 3. Substitute inside there, you get the new equation, what is a plus b. 3 equal to a, uh, a, a t, t is 0, so you don't have a anymore. So you only have B, B equal to 3. Okay, so here to here is the substitution of the statement. Once you found your B, you use you need to use this information, dy dx. There is a purpose why it gives you dy dx. How to find dy dx? You do first, first differentiation of this one. Okay? You get the general equation y equal to something. So you give you dy, sorry, yeah. Uh, typo error over here. It should not be dy dx. It should be dy dt. Typo error. Dy dt. Because dy dx, you get zero. No x. Uh, no no x here. Right. So again, uh, typo error in my slides here, or or, or in your tutorial question. Uh. Uh, so dy over dt equal three. So you you do dy dt over here, uh, and uh, yeah, just an update. I just upload the uh, chapter five tutorial handouts uh, in the Moodle. So just in case you, you didn't notice, uh, so you can download and print out and follow out, uh, follow the lecture together. So you have the y equation. Now I'm not going back to how to do product rules anymore. So I straight away give you the answer for dy dx. You differentiate this one. Okay, you use product rule means like the u and v equation so then you substitute what is your dy dx sorry in this case dy dt sorry uh, again typo error here it should be dy dt because you only have t this is dt yeah? typo error then the rest you substitute inside here you x uh, your t equals zero so this is zero this is zero this is zero from here you get what is your a so you have a equal to minus 1, b equal to 3. You can solve, right? This one, you substitute your a and b inside here. You get the complete or particular solution. 
particular solution means you substitute your A and B to get the full answer. All right, normally, uh, just give you an idea. Normally, if this one is 10 marks, this question 10 marks, you get the general equation stage. You reach here. If you do the step correctly, you already score six marks up to here. Then you continue to use this information to find the particular solution. Particular solution means there's no more A and B inside. You substitute A, B inside this equation. You write, you get the full mark for the another four mark here. Okay. Let's try one more. Let's see if you can remember the steps. Huh? Uh, don't chase after the value. Remember the steps. Huh? Remember the strategy we used to solve. Huh? First, you look at the question. See whether it falls under which chapter. First, you look at this question. It gives you one differential equation. Dy, dt square. Uh, sorry, this one. This one should be x. I should change this one to x. I apologize for my PowerPoint. This one is dy dx. Uh, dy dx, it should not be t. Yeah? So dy square over dx square plus something dy dx plus 13y equals 0. And you're given the x equals something, y equal to something, dy dx equal to something. So you look at the equation. It's a second order differential equation and equals 0. So it falls under chapter 5 homogeneous equation and when once it's homogeneous equation remember your classmate uh, remember your classmate follow your classmate uh, steps there's a reason why it give you x y and dy dx that one is to solve your particular equation which is solve for your a and b uh, okay first steps copy the equation after that remember nizam in the D form or D format. Okay. In exam, you don't need to write the red color, but you can straight away give me the answer like this. So you transfer this one into this one. So D square Y over D, T, D again, uh, apologize for my micro error. It should be, it should be X square below. Uh. D X square. So you get one D square. Then this one, 6 copy. This one become D. This one, 13 copy. And be uh, remember to close the bracket. Huh? Cross the bracket and copy the Y. Okay. Uh, sir. Yes. Uh, can I write the 1 D square into D square also? Which one? The 1 D square. Y D square. Where, where, where is it? You're asking about one this one, right? Square, yeah. One D square, uh-huh. Yeah, meaning no need to write. Okay, uh, if I write into D square only, can you write? Ah, uh, can, 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 can. can, can. Same, 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 same. It's only that uh, I, I put the one there just to highlight later when you reach a structure stage, you know what is your A, what is your B, what is your C. Oh, okay. I, I put one there because I, I, I afraid some of you, you might not see the one. Thank you. Uh, you yeah, might, you might, the A is zero. Yeah, some <laughs> of you somehow in exam, uh, you will see, you will write, you 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 will write the one becomes zero one. I don't know some student uh, are not saying you lah, but some student will do that. Okay, all right. So the first step, you remember Nizam write in the form. Uh, then after that, you think of Shakil. Means you pull the bracket. See that one as a quadratic equation. Do the do the calculation for b square minus 4ac and then test whether they are first case second case and the third case okay right in the quadratic equation uh, these steps you have to write uh, in exam this step you have to write uh. from here you copy the bracket then you write equals zero why equals zero because this equation gives you either y becomes zero or the bracket one becomes zero so we don't, why is not zero, right? So we need to find what is this one. This is zero. So 
Remember, Shakir, the uh, equation B squared minus 4ac. Uh, okay. Okay. okay, now, now example three. three. This, this is the equation, equation that, that I highly recommend you to memorize. memorize. This one you should already know when you learn about quadratic equation. Remember this one. This one will save your life. Huh? Oh, not save your life. Save your score huh? in a test or final exam. So M or X also can. Huh? M equal to minus B plus minus square root. B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. Remember this one. Or copy this one somewhere in your notes. Maybe on your wall. Just to remember, because this one is going to help you to save some marks in exam. I don't need to remember. Uh, uh, I don't need to teach you what is B, what is A, what is C, right? Uh, the rest is just substitute only. So I do the first example for you. Uh. M equal B. In this case, B is six. So minus B, positive negative copy. Then you do the calculation. Uh, in exam, you have to substitute. Uh, have to sub this one is I speed up already. In test or exam, you have to substitute. Uh, then only you reach these steps. B square. B square is 6 square. So you get 36. First one, 36. Minus 4. AC. What is your A? A is 1 uh, and not 0. Uh. A is 1. Uh. C is 13. So 14. Min, uh, di multiply 1, multiply 13. You use your calculator to calculate. You get a bracket minus something inside the square. You get something minus in the square. From here, you know already. Straight away, you fall under the third category. Because this answer gives you this one. Minus 6 divided by 2, you get 3. This one is not a real number. Square root minus 1. You know that square root minus 1 equal to i or j, right? In this case, I use j. How to get 2? You treat this one, you convert the, 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 minus, the minus as a j. Square root 16. So root 16, you get 4, right? 4 divided by 2, you get 2. Anyone, you are not clear. Why square root minus 16 equal to 2? You don't understand. I hope you understand. Huh? Square root minus 16, you cannot square root something with negative. You chain this one, negative become j become an uh, image image become an image or become an unreal number j then once you transform the negative become j 16 square root 16 you get 4 4 divided by 2 you get 2 okay this is the third case this is the third case where you have a complex number M equal to alpha plus minus beta. So what is your alpha? Minus 3. What is your beta? 2. Standard radia. You just compare side by side. Then you know what is your alpha. What is your beta? Alpha equal to this one. Beta equal to this one. Then... The next one, you think of Edmund. Edmund will give you one equation, followed by the type, the category, standard one. Is this one. Okay, although it's very long, this equation, but it's the standard equation that you, you follow the scenario. Okay, so if fall under category number three, you use the standard equation, y equal to e something, Bracket A, B, A plus B, something. Okay. Next one is to substitute your alpha and beta. So I already told you, uh, this one you compare side by side. M, M, alpha, alpha, J, J, beta, beta. 
is just a direct substitution here. E alpha, which is E minus 3 over here. A copy cos beta, compare. Your beta is 2. So substitute your 2 here. 2x plus B sine beta. Again, compare. If you forget, you just write this equation side by side. 2 equal to beta. So sine 2x. You get almost 60% of the marks already. Substitute correctly. You get the 60% of the full mark already. Again, this is called general equation or general solution. Okay, let's say this is a 10 marks question. You reach this stage, you get six marks already. Next, you need to ask yourself how to get A and B from the last part of the question. It gives you what is X, what is Y, and there's a purpose why it purposely mentioned dy dx. It wants you to differentiate the y equation of this one. You substitute inside, you get your a, you get your b. Okay, that is the general steps how you solve homogeneous equation. Always the same. So I'm going to skip all the substitution. You will get your a equal three. You do your dy dx by product rules. I am not going to repeat what is product rules anymore. So you get your b. There's a long equation, but these are the steps just for you to cross check. You get your b after a long calculation. You get your b equal to eight. You get you have your a. You have your b. What you do? Just substitute inside the general solution. So you substitute your a. Your B. Huh? Your B. This whole set, after you substitute A and B, we call a name, we give you a name called particular solution. Any questions so far? Ask yourself whether you don't know what, what are the general steps? Basically, standard already. First, you think out of Nizam, put in a D form. Second, you think of Shakir. What Shakir do? The three equation, or remember this one. Remember this equation. M equal or x equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. Substitute, do the calculation, you will see what is the category of the answer. Either the first one, second one, or the third one. First one, different answer. Second one, same answer. Third one, you have a negative square root. You have a square root of negative something at the second part here. Then it falls under the third category. Then the next step, you think of Edmund. You choose standard equation based on the type of your answer just now. Choose and then substitute. Your alpha, beta in the question, you get 60% of the answer. And then this is a general solution. How to solve for particular? Read the last part of the question. Give you what is x, what is y, what is dy dx. So you solve for dy dx. You get what is your a, what is your b. Substitute back into the here. You get the full mark. Okay, so basically this is a general step to solve a homogeneous Second order partial differentiation. Uh, uh, sorry. Second order differential differentiation. Okay. Example number four. Is it? Example number four. You read the question and then ask yourself are you able to recall the steps to solve second order uh, differential equation or not? Okay. Uh, ignore all the numbers but try to see whether you can remember or not the steps. You read the question, they will show there's an equation inside there. Copy the equation first. This is the equation inside the question. You read until the last part, it will give you what is your T, what is your X, what is your dy dx, or what is your X, what is your Y, what is your dy dx. Sure got this thing one. 
the last line that gives you all this information is to find the second part of the solution, which is to solve what is your A, what is your B. Okay. Okay, back to the strategy to solve second order of a differential equation. Copy the question. First step, think of exam, put to D form, right? Check how to differentiate. Huh? So here you don't have B, huh? straight away you have the X. So you put in, this is a general form, you compare side by side. This one you don't have, you don't have D. And you, you need to modify a little bit. Huh? Don't, 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 uh, right. don't straight away copy one. You have you to check, check the question, question and then compare side by side. Here is the x, right? Inside this one is your x. Previous question is dy, d double, uh, d square y, right? In this question, it changed to x already. So now your y become x already. So again, I remember to change this one to x. Uh. Don't, don't continue to use y uh, then i'll put a question but where where is y there's no y here right so change accordingly adapt accordingly yeah first step write in the d operator form so this one I write the one d square just to remind you uh, it's not zero then there's no d here i write zero and this one you copy 100 again bracket this one become x already yeah uh, not y yeah uh. X already, yeah, uh, not y, yeah, uh, because the question do not have y, they use x and t, so you modify a little bit. The pattern is there. Uh. Once you write in the d form, thing of Shakil, do the calculation. Write in the write the quadratic equation here uh, first. Mean that you write the bracket first. You copy the whole bracket, put in the put in the quadratic form. A x square or A m square plus B m plus C. Write this general form. Compare side by side. Why do you need compare side by side? Because you need to find what is your small A, what is your small B, what is your small C. Uh, from here, you know what is your A, you know what is your B, you know what is your C. How we apply the A, B, C? What to do with the A, B, C? Recall the equation that I just teach you just now. Sorry, in this case, it's quite direct. In this case, it's m square equal to minus 100. So it's a negative number. It's a negative number. Okay. Of course, you can use the quadratic equation. You can use this one to substitute, but you still get a negative number, but your B here will be zero. In this case, you factor out. Okay, you have a something square root negative. You see a next square root negative, you know, it's straight away jump to third category. Third type of the equation. So here, in front here, you don't see anything, right? It means zero. La. It's not one. Uh. Zero here. Zero plus minus J10. And then look at here. Compare side by side. What is your M? What is your alpha? What is your beta? Okay, J is J. So your alpha is zero. Your beta is 10. So in answer, you have to tell me what is your alpha, what is your beta. Okay, each one of it, maybe half mark, half mark, you get one mark. Okay, uh, you have to write it out, uh, because sometimes something will happen in your mind uh, during a uh, test or exam. You think something, maybe you think this the correct way, but when you write down, something happened on your paper. I'm not sure, I write the wrong answer. So, Always be careful and write the alpha, beta in your answer. What is alpha equal to? What is beta equal to? And then you write the equation. Then you substitute. So if you do the wrong substitution here, I will, you, I, I will still save you with the alpha and beta in your answer. If you don't write alpha, beta, and then you substitute wrongly here, I will straight away I'll give you wrong because I have, I have no chance to help you. Okay? 
So here you are substitute your alpha 0, beta equal to 10, beta equal to 10. So this is your general solution. Up to here you get 6 points out of 10. The next step is to solve the time one. You given t x and dy dx. Solve the dy dx, uh, or sometimes you can substitute the, the t and x or x or y to get the first AB equation. Then dy dx, you get the second AB equation. Solve simultaneous, get what is A, what is B. Substitute back A and B, you get the second half of the 40% out of the whole mark. Okay. Here, I just want to highlight this one. This is a general equation you get from, from your reference, right, from the PowerPoint slides, from my, from my lecture slides. But remember, don't confuse or don't influence by the standard answer. You need to modify. In this case, there is no Y there. You only, you only dealing with X and T. So Y change to X. Huh? And something here. X become, okay, this one, huh? this one, you have a Y and X. Huh? So here you are dealing with X and T. So Y become X, general equation X will become T. Huh? This one will become T. Any question? Don't, 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 uh, don't influence by the general equation. You need to flexible, you need to compared to the scenario that we have. This one is just to general, generally guide you. This one only apply when you have only x and y. But this equation, you don't have y. You only have x and t. So your x will become, you replace your y become x. This one will become t. Clear? I hope you clear of the situation here. Right. So, so these so are the careless mistakes that so so usually will appear in uh, finance. Yeah. You, you forget because you have so many things to remember. But when it comes to a uh, very obvious one, you need to change one, but straight away you use Y, you are still write X. And then suddenly uh, you don't know how to find the answer because Suddenly, you can't see what what to substitute because it, it looks strange. Okay, so so uh, do more exercise, see whether you understand or not. Uh, okay, all right. Now, once you have this one, again, the next step is to use the information given at the last part of the question, substitute back to get your a and b. You get your a equal to two. You use the dy dx. You get your B, substitute back. This is the final answer of this question. All right? You can give me this answer or straight away give me this answer. Also can. Because you know that your B is zero for this scenario. So this whole thing is zero. You arrive at this one. Okay? Question before we move to the next. Uh, new things to learn today. Edmund, you okay? Okay, yeah? Okay. Uh, Nizam and Shakir, I think no more problem. Okay. We moved to a new thing already, yeah? This is just to recall what is homogeneous. What is non-homogeneous? Today we look at non-homogeneous, where it no longer equals zero. We already done, eh? We already done homogeneous. You think of your friend in this class. The procedure always same. For non-homogeneous means something not equal to zero, it, it can be equal to something else. But you will, the front one will be the same. Only the last part, the, on the right hand side, it won't equal to zero. Then you need to use other strategy. It will almost similar to what you learned uh, previously. 
uh, you need to add a little bit more steps to solve for non homogeneous. I'll show you. Huh? You will see the equation in this form, which is on the right hand side, will not equal to 2, 0. You equal to another function or something, right? But the main thing is that you look at the question, you know that it's not equal to 0. On the right hand side, you won't see an any 0 there. Okay. It is non homogeneous differential equation. Again, on the right hand side, there are three possible uh, scenarios. It can be a constant, it can be a number, but not zero. Huh? When you see it's not a zero, I mean, it can be one, it can be two, it can be three, it can be four, but it's not zero. Zero, when you see zero, then you use the previous method that we learned. But now, when it's not zero, one, two, three, four, a number, then four under non homogeneous, you need to use non homogeneous method to separate it. Another one is polynomial. Polynomial equation is in the format of ax power ax power three, ax power two, ax power three, a uh, uh, five plus dx something at the beginning. This is the first scenario. Second, second part, second uh, second scenario that you have is you're having exponential function with this e power something on the right hand side here second scenario huh? first scenario you will see numbers if we are very kind to you we will use number but normally when it comes to final exam you won't see number here you will see equation here right you fall on the polynomial another case is exponential with this e power something over here Another one is the trigonometry function over here. You see sine, cosine function over here. These are the three scenario. Oh, sorry, sorry, there's one more. Uh, four is that you will see some equation plus minus uh, equation a plus equation uh, multiply equation b something. You see equation at the right hand side of the equation. I will give you sample. I will give you equation. Maybe today we will just go for the first type. Then we will go for the uh, tomorrow. We will look at the uh, other three sample here. Okay. Now for homogeneous again, uh, in your mind you should you should remind yourself. Uh, homogeneous. You have four family to settle. With this on the right hand side, expect that you will see constant polynomial exponential. Sine, cosine function, and equation. Let's see the first example. Uh, these are the steps. Uh, these are the steps here. Um, uh, okay, these are positive. Uh, try to see. We will go through a few examples, then you will see the, the SOP, uh, standard operating procedure. First, first uh, you write in your answer sheet, you copy this one. First steps to solve this kind of question. First, you write y equal to u plus v. Uh, you don't ask why first at this moment. Just you just input this one in your mind. First step to solve this one, write y equal to u plus v. Uh, you write this one, you get one mark. Huh? In your answer to solve this non-homogeneous equation. First step, you write y equal to u plus v. You get one mark. We mark one. Huh? Okay. After, After you write y equal to u plus v, second step, on the above equation, you see y, right? There's a y inside the equation. U this equation, substitute this u plus v inside the y location. First step, write y equal to u plus v. Second step, substitute into the equation. Yeah. First, First step, step, write this one, you get one mark. mark. Second, substitute, you, you get, get one mark, mark. two mark, mark here already. Mark. The rest, rearrange. This one, you don't need to worry. You remember first step, second step, third one, you continue to do your calculation. 
Okay, continue, continue to do your calculation. calculation. Basically, you just rearrange the equation. Okay, rearrange your equation in what kind of format? U one side, V in the middle. The equation on the right hand side you don't touch. At the moment, you don't care about what happened on the right hand side. This right hand side equation you don't care. Uh, you don't care first. You just copy, continue to copy. Okay. So far, there are three steps here. First, write y equal to u plus v. You get one up. Second, substitute your u plus v in the y location in the original equation. You see why you, you, you put a bracket there, you substitute u plus v. Like what you see here. Okay, don't touch what's happened on the right. Next, you do some housekeeping. After you do this one, you do some housekeeping. What housekeeping rules that you need to do? You put all the U together in one bracket. Okay? You put all the U in one bracket like this. Plus, you put another bracket, put all the U together. Right hand side, you don't touch. Okay? Standard, huh? Three, 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 three uh, steps here. One, two, three, 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 three points here. Yeah. Three, three marks here. Yeah. You, you can, can do, do these three, three usually standard. standard. You, you will get, get all, all these uh, three marks, marks automatically. automatically. Okay. okay. Once, Once you do your housekeeping, okay. Once, Once you do your housekeeping. Okay. Once, Once you do, you do your, your housekeeping, housekeeping, you still remember just now you group two, two things in the equation. U, one bracket, V, one bracket, right? So you assume the U bracket equal to the right hand side. I mean this one, the U bracket equal to the right hand side. So it means that what happened in the U, everything will equal to zero. After you do the after you do the housekeeping, put the U one side or in one bracket, V in one bracket. Next steps. The first bracket, which is all the U, uh, the, the bracket, uh, the whole bracket that contains the U equals zero. Then the V equal to the right hand side. Mean you chop. Uh, you chop the equation into half. The one on the left equals zero. The one on the right you see equal, equal to three factors. Then you solve like a normal equation. You have, you have two equations to solve. You solve for the V, you solve for the uh, you solve for the U equal zero. You solve for the V equal to another side. Then you get an answer. Okay. Your answer equal to Y C F or complementary function means uh, you remember after you chop into half, after you do uh, housekeeping, chop in half, you answer you have two components. One we call it CF, one we call it particular integral PI. So you consist of, your answer consists of CF and PI. CF and PI. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, so far, far we, we have, have all these steps. steps. Okay. Next, after, after you have, have all this already, okay, okay, next, next, you just you repeat, repeat what you learned in, in the uh, first session just now. now. Write in the D form, equal, equal zero, get. There's a table to refer. Uh, in this one, you have a table to refer. Like what you did just uh, in a few chapters earlier. A few sections earlier, okay? All this follow. Uh, I will show you. Although this one, at this moment, doesn't make sense to you, but you just accept at this moment. Then after we go through a, uh, one or two examples, then you go back to all these slides. It will make sense to you. This is a table that I refer to, uh, I, I mentioned. Print out this 
table uh, after this. You can print out this table. Put it somewhere. Uh. So in the tutorial question that I upload in the in the Moodle, you have this one. Okay, the the, the tutorial handouts that I get uh, that I post in the in the Moodle. Uh, chapter five tutorial question. Inside there, you have this table. Okay, so basically, after this, after today, we will always refer to this Bible for non homogeneous second differential equation. If it's non differential, uh, this is your Bible. This one is your life jacket. You, you refer to this all the time. All the, all the answer is here already. Okay, I'll teach you how to do that step by step. Huh? Okay. This one read later. Okay, then you combine back the CF and uh, PI. Basically, it's your U and V. You combine them together. Okay, basically, just now you chop your answer into how, right? Uh, you, now you combine them together, U, and then you combine them together with the V. Let's look at one example. Try to observe the strategy we use here. Try to observe what we do here. You're given one equation over here. D square y divided by dx square plus dy over d. So this is dx, not d. There's a typo error here. I apologize for this one. It should be dy dx minus y. Huh? It's a side so, so this equation basically is uh, uh, is a dy dx, it's a x and y relationship. Okay, copy it wrong. Okay, I think this one is x, not t. Yeah. Copy the question again. There's a type error here. Yeah? It should be dy over dx, not t. Okay. Should be dy dx here. Yeah. It's, it's not, not there's a type error here. Okay. So far, after you write, yeah, observe the, the method. Yeah. First, you copy the question, then you change them into you okay, you change it to a d form, which means you remember the Nizam first, right? You convert them into d form. You get this one on the right on the left hand side. You repeat the previous homogeneous equation steps. You change them into the form first. All right? You get one d square plus one d plus minus two bracket y equal four. You just pop up. Okay. So first step, copy the answer. Second, change them into d form. Then continue, Shafiq, uh, Shafiq answer. You go and find what is your uh, quadratic equation um, type. A m square plus b m plus c. Basically, you are looking at the bracket. You just copy the bracket equal zero. Because remember, now you are doing hom non homogeneous. You chop the equation into half. Huh? So the first one is you, you do the housekeeping. You chop into half. One side is you. Uh, this side is you. This side is sorry. Okay, this one is you. This one is V. Huh? Then you do the V first. Uh, sorry, you the you the U first. You calculate the quadratic equation first. Again, remember this. Gentlemen, m equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. You know what is your a, you know what is your b, you know what is your c. Where to get your a? From here. Substitute your a, b, c inside here. b minus 1 plus minus square root 9 divided by 2. Okay, so this one is 3. 1 minus 1 plus 3, you get 2 divided by 2, you get 1. And minus 1 minus 3, you get minus 4 divided by 2, you get minus 2. 
So basically, you have 1 and minus 2. So this one, we have three conditions to compare, right? So this one is the first category where you have a different real number. Okay, choose the first one. Choose the first one. M equal to alpha, M equal to beta, which is the first case. You again think of Edmund. Edmund is the one who chooses. Uh, this is the equation to use. This is the first one because you have a two different answer from this analysis. So again, you have two different answer. Which one to put as alpha? Which one to put at beta? Again, general rule of thumb. Positive always in front. Negative always go to the back. Again, I repeat. Uh, how to know which one is alpha, which one is beta? Positive one always put in front. Negative one always put behind. What is positive negative? One is alpha. Minus two you put behind. Beta. This is the general solution for the first part. This one, I think, no, no problem. Right? This one, no problem. Like, same like what we did for the homogeneous. Okay? First part will be the same like homogeneous. Then we do the second part now. Again, uh, highlight here. Now, this equation... Remember to change your y become u. Remember when you come to non-homogeneous equation, when you reach this stage, don't write as don't write as y, write as u. This will be the first part of your answer. Okay. Up to here, any question? Up to here, any question? Okay, okay. Okay, good. Right. Again, uh, for non homogeneous up to this part, up to this part, remember to change your y to u. Uh. Here, we settle our first housekeeping. When you chop your, your question into two half, one bracket is the u, one bracket is the v. You solve your u already. 50% answer already come out. Already. Next. Uh, this is a new thing for today. This is a new thing, eh? Watch. Second part of your answer, you focus on Fx. You compare side by side. You write the you write the general equation of this one. Compare to the question. You know that your Fx equal 4. Right? Fx equal 4, right? Uh, next step, what you do? Refer to the Bible, or I call it Table 51.1. What is Table 51.1? Is this very big table? What is Fx? Fx equal 4. There are two columns of this table. Start with the left hand side. Check each one of it first. You go to the left hand side, you read what is your fx. This one you read from your question. fx equal 4. So, which one? First one. 4 is a constant. So, you refer to the first one. Okay? Any one of you, you don't understand why we choose the first one. Edmund, you okay? Yes, yeah. From the question itself, you know your fx equal to a constant. fx equal to 4. You compare to this table. This table will tell you which one which one to choose. This is your shopping list. Uh. This is your shopping list. Your fx equal to 4, you check one by one. This is the constant. Go to the first one. Copy this one. Copy this, this one. one. So, so uh, of course, course these two have two different cases. Case. This one straightforward, straightforward cases. cases. You, you use, use the middle one. one. 
and there are some special case, then you need to refer to this side. I will give you an example. Okay, I will give you an example. Huh? This example is the first case where we use V equal to K. Copy V equal to K into your answer. Okay, now, refer 15.1 table with this one, and it's the first category, and you write V equal to K. V equal to K. Forget about this one first. Later, I will show you one example. Forget about this, this side first. Huh? This is a very direct uh, case where V equal to K. The next question. What is K? Why suddenly there's a K then? Why is it K? Okay. Now, the next step here. You see the red color equation? A, D squared plus B, D plus C, bracket Y, equal to Fx. Now we change the Y to V. Yeah. After you refer to table, you copy from the table. Next step, you change this equation. Y become V. I like it for you. you. You change, change the y, y become, become v. Then, what, what is v in, in this table? table? What, what is v in this table? table? V, v equal, equal to k. k. Substitute, Substitute your k, k inside v. v. So, so this, this equation will become k. k. You, you know, know what is your fx? fx is 4. You know what is your a, b, c? Substitute inside here. Your A is 1, B is 1, C is minus 2. Again, I would like to highlight this is also the famous careless mistakes. When we give negative somehow in the process, the student will automatically change the question and become positive. Okay, so don't do that. It's also one of the famous mistakes done by the student. After this, what do you do? You focus on K. You focus on K and differentiate only on K. What does it mean? You need to find what is your D square K and DK. Normally, we start with DK. Means you differentiate your K over X. You differentiate K. K is a constant. So you differentiate K over X, you get 0. You get 0, you differentiate 0, you get 0. Question. Question. Oh, this, one. this one is a bit, we need to think a little bit. Huh? These steps, after you, after you write this, this equation, the next step is to find what is your first differentiation of k, second order differential of your uh, derivation of your uh, differential equation of your k. Meaning, you look at k, you dy, uh, dy dx, uh, sorry, d dk, uh, differentiate over x using k, you get 0. Once you get 0 already, you know that your double differentiation is 0 also. Any question on these steps? Shakti, you okay? Shakti, you understand why 0 or not? Nizam, you okay? Nizam, you understand why you get zero here? Edmund, you understand why you get zero here? Okay, good. Next. Next, huh? Once you get your dk0, dk square 0, you substitute inside the equation. d square k, right? d square k equals 0. d k 0 minus 2k, you still have minus 2k, equals 4. 
That's why you arrive at this equation. This one, d square k, d square k, you already found equal to zero. D k find out as zero. Minus two k equal four. It's a whole equation, huh? The whole equation is one d square k plus one d k minus two k equal four. You did find what is your d k d square k, and at the end you arrive at minus two k equal four. What is your k? K equal to Edmund, what is your k? Oh, four. Can you explain how you get four? What is the value of your k? Minus two k equal four. What is your k? Negative two, sir. Answer is negative two. Amen. Okay. Amen. You understand or why? Why negative two? No. Okay. Minus two k equal four. What is your k? For example, you I I change this one k to x. Minus two x equal four. What is your x? You know this is the multiplication, right, Evan? Mm -hmm. Minus two multiply what you get four. If you get if, if this one is four, minus two multiply by four, what you get? Minus eight. How you get four? What should you substitute here to get four, Evan? Uh, minus two. Ah. So you just take minus two, divide uh, four divided by minus two, you get minus two. Okay, uh, uh, if you are if you're in that stage, uh, I recommend you to retake your max one, uh, Edmund. Okay, you are this is the very fundamental uh, mathematics, huh? All right, you need to polish up. Okay, go to minus two. Then just now, refer. Re, uh, remember, what is your k? Uh, what is your v? Your v equal to k. Then, so what is your v? Your v equal to negative two. Uh, here, you clear your second part of your v. Okay. Remember, just now we have a one procedure where we do housekeeping and then we chop our answer into half. You do the bracket u. You do the bracket v. You already done what is your u, what is your v. The next step, very easy. You just combine the two answer. Your y equal to u plus v. Your u, just now you already find. u equal to this one. v equal to minus 2. Next step, what you do? Substitute this one inside this simple equation. The final answer will be y equal to this one. Plus minus two, so basically this is minus two. This is your final answer. Okay. 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 We go. Maybe go one more. Let me call it today. Okay. Let me recap what are the steps, huh? For you are using example five, then see whether you can answer in question six. See, you can see the the, the pattern, huh? Okay. Or you can just simplify everything in this equation. You need to find what is your u, what is your v. Alright, first step. You think of what you learned in your homogeneous 
of the equation. All right. So first step, you copy the equation. Think of uh, Nizam, write in B equation. But now the right hand side is not zero. So you write F, F, X. This is what different from the previous one. You write zero become F, F, X. Next, you focus on the on the bracket quadratic equation, like what we did just now. Think of shark theory. You solve what is your A, what is your B, what is your C. Right in quadratic equation, remember this quadratic formula, minus V plus minus square root B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. You'll find under what category is it. In this case, you are the first category. So remember Edmund. Edmund choose the correct equation. You use the first one. Again, something challenging here will be you need to decide what is your alpha and what is your beta because you have two answer there. How to substitute alpha and beta? Positive value always in the front, negative value always at the back. So you have positive negative value. One will inside here, negative will inside here. Then after that, the last steps change this equation into u. You get the first half question again. Remember, you are objective in the non homogeneous equation is to find what is your u, what is your v. This is the first part of your answer. Okay, you solve what is your u. V, v component, think of the table. How to find the v, think of the table that I give you. Go back to this general equation. Remember to find what is your fx. The second step, second half, is to find what is your fx. fx equal to 4 is a constant value. Go to the table. Go to the left-hand side. Shopping there. Shop there. All right? fx equal to 4. 4 under the first one. Equal to 4. Then, after you pick that one, it will give you the answer for your v. Because you need to find u and v, right? So the second part you read from the table, middle table. Okay? You find what is your v. V equal to k. Ah, copy that one, put in the answer. After refer table, you know what is your v. V equal to k. So, how to continue from here? You modify this equation. Modify this equation. Change your y become v. Change your y become v. Then you substitute this one. You change substitute your k inside here. Y become v. V become k. This is the step. Y become v. V become k. Then the next step you do. You look at this green color equation. You do differentiation. Differentiation, here you have double differentiation, first, double, uh, first differentiation. So what you do, you look at this one, you differentiate. You know that you differentiate constant number, you get zero. You differentiate zero, you still get zero. So basically, you get this one, you get this one. So this one, d square k zero, d k zero, minus two k equal four. You can, you can find what is your k. Edmund, go and polish up your mathematics. Huh? A equal to minus 2. So think back, what is your v? Because your objective here, this slide, this part, is to find what is your k. Do your k value inside here. V equal to minus 2. The last part, easy job. Last part is just to, uh, is just to combine what is your u and v. Okay, the last part just to combine what is your u and v. Y equal to uv. U, you already find. V, you already find. Combine these two, you get the answer. Okay. Uh, okay, I think we stop here. Huh? Tomorrow, our next class, we continue with example number six. Okay, stop that recording.